Hello to all of the Pimo JWs out there, the XJWs, the non JWs, and the JWs, because I know you're watching. This is Mackie Pimo JW Jones, aka that Pimo JW on TikTok. And this has got to be a glorious day <laughs> for the JWs because the most prestigious tennis female tennis player on earth just so happened to get baptized mm -hmm. serena williams got is an actual got actually baptized um and i'm gonna tell you something i don't think that her getting baptized is going to affect her at all just like it really didn't affect prince okay and I believe Michael Jackson was already baptized prior to him, you know, doing his music or whatever, which is why he had to write a letter, um, you know, before releasing the Thriller video. But I don't think this is going to affect her at all. Because, for one, everybody loves her. Witnesses and non-witnesses. So, it's like if she were to get this fellowship or something like that, <laughs> you got millions of people that still love her, you know? And I'm going to tell you something when it comes to celebrities. They, they, they get a little bit more of a pass on life for some reason, like, you know? witnesses were still listening to Michael Jackson after Thriller. I know my mother was. You know, nobody said anything about that. Now, you do have some Holy Roller Jehovah Witnesses that will say, well, you shouldn't be listening to Michael Jackson's music because, you know, he he disassociated himself after he did the Thriller video. You shouldn't be watching a Thriller video. You know, that's a demonic video and things like that. But then you got other people that's like, man, as long as I don't listen to Thriller, I'm good. <laughs> but seriously, like, being that she's such a superstar celebrity, it's really, you know, it's really not going to affect her, you know? Like, I don't think that friends or family are going to stop talking to her. Now, Watchtower is happy because you already know Serena Williams, people like that, people like Prince, people like Serena Williams, and things like that. Well, you know, before Prince passed, of course. Donate a whole lot of money to the organization. So, like, this has got to be the happiest day for them, you know? <laughs> not, not to say that she hasn't donated money to the organization before, but it's just like, this is just, this is just... This is their their day. But as far as like her compared to a regular person like me, like if I decided I wanted, if I was, you know, it, well, I've, I've been baptized since I was 16 years old. Uh, but, you know, if I decided I wanted to wait until I was 40 something and to get baptized, it would be a whole lot different. It would be a whole lot different, especially if I had, you know, all my family and all my friends in it, born in. Now, I, I know they was raised in it, but it's, it's like, they, it's just different. It's different for celebrities. It's different for them. It was different for all of them, for Michael Jackson, for, for, uh, uh, Prince, the Williams sisters. Nothing's going to really affect them if they decide that if they get this fellowship, they're still going to be loved by millions and millions of people. Whereas me, for instance, if I drop out of the uh, out of the organization or if I get this fellowship, I don't hardly have anyone, you know, and it, it'll take me forever just to develop friendships and, de you know, develop trust in people that I may have to rely on in the event that I get this fellowship and none of my Jehovah's Witness friends, or Jehovah's Witness acquaintances, rather, they're not really your friends, and family completely cut you off, completely write you off. Nobody's going to write off Serena Williams. Nobody. If she decides she doesn't want to be a Jehovah's Witness no more, 
people all around the world be like, oh, well, like it's just, it just wasn't her. It wasn't meant to be for her to just be a Jehovah's Witness. And that'll be the end of it. And she'll go right back to her life. Nothing will, nothing will, you know, affect her life. But if I decide to do that, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Now, if I wasn't, if, if, if I really was like in a rush, I would have got this fellowship in 2017. But in 2017, I didn't really have that many non-JW friends. I'm slowly developing. I can, I can still count on one finger how many non-JW friends I have. And that's how long it's taken me. 2017, 2023, it's been six years and I, it's almost like maybe a friend or two per year that I've, uh, that I'm trying to, you know what I'm saying, become friends with. It, it, it's not easy. It's not easy for a regular person. But for Serena, <laughs> you know, now I'm not hating on her. You know, I'm not hating on her, but it's just like, it's not, it's not fair how she will be treated because she will be treated differently. All celebrities are treated differently in any way, but if she, as a Jehovah's Witness, she will be treated differently. She will be treated better. She will. So, yeah, that's my take on it. Uh, this is Mackie P. Mo J. W. Jones. I'm about to um, do some work. Got some projects going on. So, um, I hope you all have a beautiful day. Question everything. Don't be afraid to ask questions. Don't be afraid to think outside the box. And don't be afraid to do outside research. All right. Love you all in peace.